Yo, what's going on? Riot here with possibly the most important video of our freaking lives, at least like in the next few months. This right here, dude, Godzilla vs. Kong sequel explained by Goji Center. I'm so freaking excited to watch this because the sequel has been confirmed 100%. They even have like the director confirmed and the location for the Godzilla vs. Kong sequel. It's coming, baby. So let's go freaking learn about like all the details we have on hand to predict what's going to happen. I'd love to get a freaking Kaiju prediction so bad. Subscribe to Goji Center down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's do it. Godzilla vs. Kong sequel. Will explain are Godzilla and Kong friends now? I didn't even think of that. Are they buds? Although, although it has been confirmed to be like mostly a Kong movie, not really Godzilla, which is very confusing, but I guess they gotta switch it off, you know, build that Godzilla hype. I don't know. We don't really know what's going on. Let's find out. The sequel to the Hollywood blockbuster Godzilla vs. Kong is set to be filmed in Queensland. When are we gonna stop calling them blockbuster? Blockbuster's closed now. We need a new word for movies. Let's call them Johnny's. The project, <laughs> which is the next installment in the MonsterVerse franchise, will be shot in a range of locations. It's official. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, a new MonsterVerse installment will begin production this year, courtesy of our Australian friends. In this video, we will quickly discuss all you need to know about what you could possibly expect from this next MonsterVerse film. Are Godzilla and Kong really allies now, or will they fight again? Oh, man. Where will this film take place? Oh, and man. most importantly, <laughs> are we seeing a brand new kaiju this time? We gotta, we gotta be seeing new kaiju. If you want to stay updated with all that's happening in the MonsterVerse, make sure you like this video, I do. subscribe, and go check out our merch if you haven't already. What is that? All right, let's get started. I don't have that shirt. <laughs> Hang on a second. Is that Kong fighting a giant war bat? Oh my God, that's the dopest shirt I've ever seen in my life right there. Already. What the heck? All right, let's get started. I need Number it. one, the current state of the MonsterVerse. In order to make an educated guess on what the next MonsterVerse film could potentially cover, we need to first understand where we left off in the MonsterVerse timeline. In the latest installment, Godzilla vs. Kong, both of these titans battled it out between each other and ended up collaborating to bring down a greater threat, Mecha Godzilla. They really With did Mecha's though. His body now destroyed and mutilated, both of these kaiju now left each other alone, in peace. Or at least that's what we think. Godzilla kept his title as King of the Monsters, while Kong found its new home in the Hollow Earth. As far as we're concerned, Kong is now potentially the strongest titan in this nether region of the planet. Well, <laughs> As a bold claim, sir. Giving him the opportunity to finally exercise his role as an alpha titan. Yes, this guy is also an alpha titan. But the I can most see that. important question now is where do Godzilla and Kong stand with each other? On March 20th, Asagoji Center released a poll asking you guys this exact question. The results, around 22% of you guys voted yes and 78% voted no. Ha, huh, that is very interesting. I can only relate my own personal experience. Usually when there's somebody you have beef with and then you fight it out with them, like I'm half my best friends I've met by fist fighting them at parties. Usually after you get that aggression out, you're like buds after. It's like a weird, I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to describe, but we also don't fight for territorial reasons. We're just idiots. I mean, I definitely don't think Godzilla would attack Kong on site considering last time they, they were together, Kong saved Godzilla his life. I definitely don't think Kong would attack Godzilla on site considering last time they were together Godzilla beat his ass so like it's I don't know I feel like they'd be very cautious just kind of respectful of each other I think Kong would be submissive for sure though like if if one of them has to get out of the other one's way Kong's getting out of the freaking way and I think that's the only way to maintain peace after taking into account several factors it's possible that this was the correct answer what we shouldn't consider <laughs> Godzilla and Kong to be friends or allies just yet some of you guys brought up this kid's book as evidence, but seriously, <laughs> come on, guys. What you saw in Who this scene was nothing more than just a ceasefire and an exchange of respect. Dr. The respect Hall, is what I'm saying. You, are you sure you still want to hold that weapon? No, no. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll just leave this here. All right, then. Good fight or whatever. I could just turn around and end this dude right now. Wish you wouldn't pick up that axe so I could beat your ass one more time, but nah, I'm not gonna. He's actually alright, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, Let's I got very different vibes from the whole thing. Before Godzilla and Kong fought, the G-Man was the- Like, I, 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 <laughs> I gotta say something. 
I don't know, usually after respect is given due to something like, like fighting in combat with somebody on their side and then coming out victorious over something, a little bit of respect is developed and you usually don't just want to like turn around and beat someone's ass that you now kind of respect, I don't know. Again, I'm friends with half the people at Fist Spot. So my friend Alex has accidentally stabbed me and broken my nose and we just went to Costa Rica together. Like it's just, it's just part of being a dude. The one who sent the rest of the Titans back to hibernation. That is Which true. Is why no other Titans showed up on the surface during this film. But this wasn't the case down in the Hollow Earth. Down here, we witnessed all sorts of creatures that could go rampant around here. Which leads us to the next topic. Number 2. Rampant. The setting. Admittedly, the location of the next MonsterVerse movie is still unknown and up for grabs. But what makes the most sense? We literally just discussed the fact that Godzilla had already established order on the Earth's surface shortly after Godzilla Dominion and GVK. With Kong's help, of course. The best clue we have so far is- I just realized the crazy, I don't know if this is on purpose symbolism, but Godzilla banishing Kong down to- It's its almost like God sending Lucifer down to hell. There's no correlation in any way, shape, or form, except for the fact that one of them's named God, and now one of them has to live deep underground with demon monsters. <laughs> Those film is literature classes. Don't freaking get out of your head. Is what was supposed to be the post credit scene. Adam Wingard, the director of this film, revealed that this clip of Kong in the Hollow Earth was actually supposed to be in the post credits, but because of the uncertainty of the MonsterVerse continuing, they chose not to have a post credit scene. Uh. The idea was to use this clip after the credits to allude to the fact that the next film was going to most likely happen in the Hollow Earth. Now, there are a ton of things that could happen down here. This Ooh. area is home to different biomes, both forested and rocky terrain, including areas that are lit up by alternative light sources and areas that are dark. Another piece of evidence that could indicate this film could happen in the Hollow Earth is where this film will actually be produced. Producing a film set in the dangerous Hollow Earth ecosystems will require a huge variety of settings. And what better place than Australia? <laughs> is that like an accidental shot at Australia? <laughs> Other evidence will be filmed in a vast monstrous infested area like Hollow Earth, so that's why they're filming in Australia. <laughs> More specifically, Queensland, located Someone farm in the here? northeastern region of this continent. But what value does this region bring to this film's production? If you didn't know, this area of the map is quite special, featuring climates of all kinds, oceanic, subtropical, arid, deserts, rainforests, just to mention a few. Precisely the settings we need for a Hollow Earth film. Woo! Additionally, this area is also home to several suburbs, big cities, and populated coastal regions that are fit for more scenes like these. Now that we have a rough idea of where the setting of this new film could be, only one important question remains. I think it's my hand. I think I took the trash out and there was like, <laughs> something smells in here. Will we see a new kaiju? You if got it. You got it. It's got to be new kaiju. Earth. Let's say Kong fails at managing his side of the world. Do you think Godzilla could make an appearance yeah, in this I, next I mean, movie. It would be cool. What you just heard was the most recent episode of The Beast Hub. Oh, their new a podcast. New podcast catering to all kaiju, dinosaur, and beast fans, featuring Joe from Goji Center and co-host Jacob from Dangerville. Click on the link in the description or search for us using your favorite streaming app. And don't they got, oh my God, perfect time to pause it because I love this design right here. But freaking, there's gotta be new kaiju. Obviously there is, there's new kaiju in every movie. That's what brings in the, I don't know, like added pizzazz, the cherry on top. We had like Muto's were new, and then we had Behemoth, Scylla, and all those amazing creatures were new. And then in Godzilla vs. Kong, we had the war bats that were new, as well as like Kamazots and other amazing things. Obviously, it's gonna be new kaiju. I'm also really hoping war bats only travel, they maintain just the territory, maybe one or two for a few miles, like a couple perhaps, or a single, uh, but no, there were two of them, so they'd have to maintain it as two, because if Kong stumbles onto like a breeding circle, like how most snakes breed, he's gonna die. Don't forget to check out our merch. Now, it's gonna let's be gnarly. get back to number three the kaiju. Ooh. To start off, let us first remind you guys that back in 2021, we were hit with rumors that this next MonsterVerse installment was going to be titled something like this, Son of Kong. Oh yeah! With this in mind, it's only reasonable to think that a Kong specimen could be the main protagonist in this next film. But what about the G-Man? Godzilla has shown so far that his main concern has been what happens on the Earth's surface. But this could change. Keep in mind that Godzilla sent the surface titans to sleep, but anything below could still be wandering about causing trouble. 
Earlier, we discussed that Kong is now the Alpha Titan that rules the Hollow Earth, which means that any new monster that appears in the Hollow Earth will most likely have to face Kong. Yes. So far in the Hollow Earth, we have been introduced to two large Hollow Earth specimens. Douglas! The Warbats and the Scaly Quadrupeds, <laughs> or Doug. Additionally, we are aware of the existence of skull crawlers and several other Hollow Earth creatures, but nothing bigger or more dangerous than a Warbat, setting the stage for a brand new kaiju to enter the MonsterVerse. Dude, no shit though. That Goji Center kaiju scale poster I have back there shows Warbats as like literally the biggest, like they're actually terrifying. Please remember to take all of this information with a grain of salt, since we really don't have any other official info. That is we're true. Still speculating. Ooh. The next MonsterVerse villain will have to be something very powerful. We know now that Godzilla can actually sense a few things that happen in the Hollow Earth. In fact, Godzilla can sense everything in the entire planet, meaning that any crazy events that happen in the Hollow Earth, Godzilla will still be aware of it. In order for this movie to be at all interesting, this new kaiju will have to be strong enough to be able to face both Kong and Godzilla. That's so just true. in case the G-Man decides to intervene here. But there's a low chance of this happening. Her. But will we only see kaiju fights in the Hollow Earth? This might actually be the case. It has come to our attention that this film will hire over 750 extras giving us an idea that some scenes will happen in highly populated areas. People are so goddamn lucky. How do you just be an extra for one of these movies? What am I doing wrong with my life? Shit, I should have been Australian. Which then in turn makes us believe that some of this will happen on the Earth's surface, where Godzilla lives. But we cannot but negate the possibility of A, all of these people will be populating a super large monarch oh, facility yeah. in the Hollow Earth, or B, there is an ancient Hollow Earth civilization oh, still yeah. living down here. Based on these assumptions, it is clear that there is a very high chance of a new kaiju appearing in this film. In the past, Kong has faced an array of creatures such as bipedal theropods and even giant bear monsters. See what's sad is a lot of people are going to comment all the kaiju they'd love to see in this movie, all their classic favorites, but what it comes down to is, is if Legendary has like rights to any of these, like rights from Toho, because that's usually why we keep getting all these insane new kaiju that didn't necessarily exist before, it's because they don't simply have the rights to the other ones. Plus, making new stuff is always awesome. Will something like this reappear in the MonsterVerse? We sure hope so, since Kong has yet to face a purely terrestrial, mammal-like titan. This channel has already covered how some new titans could enter or re-enter this franchise, all ranging from Gorosaurus, Biolante, Mechanized Kaiju, and even Ghidorah. Check out those videos if you haven't yet, and be sure to tune into Beast Hub for even more in-depth information on this topic. These Goji Center videos cool take symbol. a while to produce, but while you wait for the next one to drop, Beast Hub will keep you entertained. See you there and on our next video. Tweet! Dude, there's a lot to freaking a lot to digest about this. What sucks mostly is I know half the fan base, every guy, every kaiji fan I know is gonna be so pissed that and I get it, dude. Humans suck. Humans are just the dumbest little emotional beat bags, and they disgust me. And they ruin every other, but it's like <laughs> But you gotta look at you gotta be understanding, kind of. Cause you want the movies to do well. Obviously, we're gonna watch the movie like 20 times because we're freaking kaiji fans, we love it. But but like you gotta understand if you go to a bar and start talking about Godzilla, you're gonna find out very quickly at 99% of the women in that bar do not give two shits about Godzilla. And it's heartbreaking and it changes you. <laughs> but most importantly, you want these movies to do well because the better the deer, the more money they make, then the more like odds are that there's going to be future movies. So you want them to bring in all the normies, all those random idiots who just don't even know anything about kaiju whatsoever. And you really do that by like humans, dude. Like some famous actress like, ah, screams over Godzilla and then her fan base goes to watch the movie. It's just, it's it's dookie. I guess they could just write it in better. I didn't even mind most of the Godzilla vs. Kong humans until the very end when the kid pours like a flask on a keyboard and it short circuits Mega Godzilla. I was like, who, who's the dumbass who wrote that scene? Do you not understand technology in any way, shape, or form? Like, even if it is a command console. So I get you. Like, humans can be annoying, but we gotta just power through for the movie and just hope they're well, well written. Either way, I'm excited to sell. I'm not gonna try and guess what the next kaiju's gonna be because odds are if they don't have rights to something, it's gonna be a new made up one. So there's no point figured it out anyways but i'm excited i mean like big monsters right so yeah check out goji center subscribe to them down below leave a like subscribe too and i'll see you guys next time peace